So for this week, our presentations are due. So we have some examples here. Let me close these for you. Under assignment examples folder, you will see here I've opened up a few presentations for your viewing to kind of get a good glimpse on um, what is expected for your presentations and um, how to really like complete the assignment itself, especially doing presentations, you know, an online class model, uh, model. So those are there for your viewing. Um, one different thing since those <clears throat> presentations have been submitted is that the assignment used to be to, um, and let me pull up the assignment for you guys. The assignment used to be to kind of do like an overview of the life skills and um, it, it kind of just turned into, um, if you see here, I have a brief summary covering the two life skills. So I actually need to update this. So um, I will update this right now. Um, but really it's like a brief summary of like what research you had learned um, in your literature review. So I find that this has been more interesting and really um, delving more into the research on the life skills um, as opposed to how it used to be where it was just kind of going over like the definitions um, and main points, you know, key factors of like, let's say attachment, because by now we all should know those pieces anyways. So it would be more helpful, right, in the presentations to hear like further research um, on them. So that's what's expected of you um, for this piece, okay? And then um, you will be covering the um, California Preschool Learning Foundations and how your two life skills relate to them. So you're selecting the two life skills um, that you did your literature review on, right? Um, and so then... Um, um, and then if you guys need the link to the California Preschool Learning Foundations, it's in our syllabus. It's right at the top under required books. It's free. And then um, you will have, you know, about five minutes or so to demonstrate. And just so you guys know, in terms of the presentation, I don't sit there and like see how long you are at in each area and, you know, deduct or give you points for that. Um, as long as you require you cover the required material sufficiently, that's what's most important. Um, so I don't really look at the actual, you know, time per se in that, okay? So um, you will be giving at least one example of like an actual application um, for both of the life skills chosen to use with four-year-olds, okay? And then, um, and you know, four to five really. And then one of the application strategies um, needs to include the classroom environments. So for example, how would you modify the area to meet the needs of a four-year-old child to further develop, um, you know, attachment, right? So you could include photographs of the area or you could do short video clips, um, at least, you know, if they're under two minutes. And then please make sure you cite um, where you got the videos or the photographs from. Um, and not an APA, just, just where you, you know, it could be a, a link. Um, unless you've personally, like, they're of your classroom when you took the photos or of someone's classroom when you took them. Um, yeah. So, and then for the second application, um, it needs to practice actual strategy, right? So it needs to be like an, a lesson or an activity that you would be doing um, with the child, and I don't know why there's not spaces. I think it's just when I copy and paste it from over from the syllabus. Sorry about that. So this would be like, um, you know, different ways. You guys can do this different ways, the application piece. You guys are in session right now, right? So if you're in the classroom, it can be like a demonstration um, with the children as long as there's, you know, um, you know, permission to do so or, you know, if you guys block faces, and, um, or you can do like a case scenario or reenactment, just different creative ways to demonstrate the actual strategies um, to us. So you want to, ex you want to be really teaching how to implement these. I love it when it is actually implemented with children. Um, what's really cool about that is we can actually see how it goes um, with the actual, you know, with actual students. So that's really great. Um, and 
in terms of PowerPoints itself, you know, pictures are more powerful than the words. You guys are already talking over um, on your PowerPoint. So really, you don't need to, you know, write it all out for us. Um, so pictures are wonderful. And if you can provide any of the materials for your activities for the class, um, that's really helpful. So what's great about the presentation is now we're saying, hey, this is all I've learned. This is how you actually implement it in the classroom. Here's how you can implement it too for the activities, okay? So for it being an online course, how you guys will do this is you're going to submit your PowerPoint here as a discussion board post so all of your classmates can watch them, okay? You're going to use voiceover for the presentation piece and it's available right in PowerPoint. Um, you guys can do other programs too if you'd like. This sometimes there's a little bit more issues if you use like screencast or other apps um, like with access to the presentations or not everyone has access to those apps. So it doesn't it's not as ava readily available for everyone's viewing um, when you use the other app. So PowerPoint's wonderful if you have access to that. Um, and, you know, you should include any printouts in your upload that would, you know, help someone else use the strategy. Um, you can even like actually in the PowerPoint, like put like a hyperlink, right? Like right next to like, let's say you show your chart you want to use in your class for your activity and you can put the hyperlink like right next to it and people can just grab it. So that's, that's one way I've seen really helpful. And to make it interactive, um, you will comment on at least two peers' presentations, postings on what you've learned from their presentations. And I would like for you guys to do, select ones that are on different topics from your own if possible. Um, with this second piece, this will be expected of you. So this presentation is due the end of this week, Sunday evening. So you're not expected to do this piece this week. Okay, so that'll be part of your present, um, your participation points the following week in week eight. So don't worry about commenting, watching presentations just yet. That'll be next week's activity. So just to quickly go over what's expected of you this week, we have our last chapter on adaptability. You will be watching the lecture corresponding to adaptability. You'll be just working on your presentations for this week. So that's why I said there's no discussion board post this week. Because I would like for you guys just to work on doing a wonderful presentation. And, um, you know, maybe you need more time to film something or get those pictures or look for pictures. And so I'd like for you guys just to focus your energy on that for the class. And then your presentation is due Sunday the 10th. And then we will wrap up the class next week. And so next week, what's expected of you is um, watching the presentations and commenting. And um, there's one other discussion board post to do. And then there's um, class feedback, if you're willing to provide that. It's always very helpful for me. Um, I modify the course like every semester, um, given the feedback that I receive. So I, I highly, highly, highly appreciate it when you guys do give feedback. And that's it for this week. So please reach out to me if you have any questions whatsoever. Take care.